Well, it's likely to be quick, but I doubt if it's going to be pretty. When you come join me on a sunless sea. Well, hello and welcome back. It's been a few weeks since the last time I did this. Unfortunately, uh, I needed a little bit of time to get my life organized and uh, recording was one of the things that went by the by. I'm sorry about that. Um, really missed playing this game, so I'm glad to be back. The only thing that worries me is uh, between then and now, there's been an update and combat has changed. So, are the bats going to get the better of us now? We'll have to see. But first, by popular demand, and by demand I mean complaint, let's change our mascot. Because I've been told it's not good enough to just buy the cat, I need to use the cat as well. So there, feel the taste of the cat. All right, so what has changed? Um, there is now the possibility of a rear-facing weapon, which can be bought in London, apparently. Um, other than that, the only real thing that's changed is there's some more stories, which I'm looking forward to. And... Um, the combat has changed completely, and that is really, really scaring me. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button because this is a new one for me. The Merchant Venturer. An urchin tugs your sleeve. Governor wants a word. A brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. Speak to the Merchant, ve merchant Venturer. Merchant Venturer. Speak to the Merchant Venturer. Words. I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs. He'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you came by these things. The venturer has a request. You now have a, a, an occurrence. Your The venturer's venture quality is now one. Okay. So he is after... Sintilac. Okay, and he's after romantic literature. A man who likes his Mills and Boone. Okay, right. Well, we can't do any of those at the moment. They're locked because we don't have the items. Thousand Echoes for seven Sintilac. A thousand Echoes for seven romantic literature. Oh, that's definitely worth remembering. Right. Let's just check our hold once again, just to make sure. Yep, we have some tomb colonists, we have some mushroom wine. Let's set sail and see just how quickly we come to a sticky end, shall we? Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip south a little bit, because there's those megalopses. The infant's megalopses, which are a much easier fight than the bats. Something I'm actually for once quite happy about. So let's try one of those first, see how we go. And if we go well, we'll swing north and see if we can find our way through the bats. Here, crabby, 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 crabby. Here, crabby, 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 crabby. Here, crabby. Yeah, I'm bored with that now. Um, Alright, what have I been up to the last couple of weeks? Well, what I haven't been up to is recording, sorry about that. Going back with a bang with a big Minecraft po podcast the other day. Um, that was fun. Complete disaster technically, but it was fun. Um, quit my job. I'm now a gentleman of leisure. The glassy chop of dark water, the iron clatter of feet in the hatchway. Come on, where's the crabs? Yes, I'm now a gentleman of leisure. I have quit my job. And I'm going to take a, a few weeks at least and uh, enjoy the unemployment before I look for something else. Uh, there's just so much that I've been neglecting in my own personal life while I was working. I was working very hard. That um, I, I need time to do just to get stuff back into order again, if you, if you follow me. And... Uh, one of the things is getting my recording going. It might be my hobby, but it, it's it's something I, I hugely enjoy. 
and it, like many other things, were going out the window. My personal life was non-existent, and oh, I just wasn't having fun with life at all. So I'm going to take the opportunity just to get myself organised, and then I'm going to start looking for an interesting job. And that is probably not the fight I want as the first one, really, is it? Go away, pirate ship. That's it. Go away. You want some bats or a crab or something like that. I don't even know how this combat works. I haven't even tried it that much. Uh, let's see how we go here. Yep, yeah, he seems to be ignoring us. That's good. So, yep, yeah, so we come back. There's a few new series in the pipe, so I'm going to be picking up all the old favourites. Uh, I'm going to be doing some Minecraft. I'm going to be uh, carrying on with the Age of Wonders series. And for anyone who follows the uh, the Terrible Trio stories, the... Uh, the um, the online dating... Uh, not the online... The dating sims I do with uh, my friends... Uh, X Sim Sugar and Sims 3 Symbiotes. I'm going to be doing one on my channel as well, probably starting this weekend. Depends if we can get everyone organised in time. If not, it'll probably be the week after. And that looks like it's going to be fun. It's just three people getting together, narrating these things in silly voices, and just having a giggle. Um, they're worth it, even if you're know, like me, you're not the target audience for a dating sim. Playing them this way is highly enjoyable. You know, I was expected to be dead by now, or at least have an understood the understanding of the combat mechanics, but it's not going to happen, is it? Not that I'm really complaining, it's just more putting off the inevitable. Ah, there's some bats. No, they're not interested in me either. Hmm. I'm starting to feel neglected. Do they not want to talk to me? Is it something I said? Is it something I didn't say? Is it my cologne? I don't know. Still, we're getting through to the other end. This has been singularly unexciting at this point, but the advantage of it being singularly unexciting is I've managed to survive. Not something. Oh, what's this mean? Oh. Ah, I see, I see, I see. This is combat, is it? Okay, so it looks like I've got two weapons there. A shorter rounder one to the front and a longer thinner one to the front. But, uh, no, not getting anything. Let's just turn that off for now. Go back to this mode. Just go in dock. Sell off and then we'll head back to London. Let's see if we can get beaten up this time or preferably do the beating up. And there we go, into the port of Vendervite. Okay. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's go to the shops and let's sell off these two colonists. And it's this one. There we go, a little bit of money again. Uh, we shall take that back to uh, to Fallen in London. Uh, rinse and repeat, I should imagine. Get a bit of money in the bank again. Right, let's head into the town and see what's going on. Okay, dusty glass of wine for 100 echo to reduce terror. Don't need to know that. We'll explore. In a sec, let's gather gossip first. Okay, so that's given a support report. Um, okay. Oh. I think that's new. Yes, here we go. I've been wanting to open this one up for a little while. A corkscrewed street. 
at the twisty tip of an odd little side street, welcoming yellow light glows from the gilt-lettered windows of a restaurant. The sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A grey moustache pokes impertinently from under his bandages. Come in, join in. Right, we've lost one terror and we've gained learning about the bandage personae. So how can this, how does this go? Okay, so we can recruit him with 300 Echo. And that is, that is a chef and we don't have a chef, a cook rather. So that would actually be a good deal and that's probably worth saving up for. Uh, I'm just still sulking about the loss of squeakers to be honest with you. We can offer a strange catch. Pay a small fee and return some of the material you supplies. Okay, and we can sample some of today's special for 60 echoes. And that will reduce terror and reduce hunger. And to be honest with you, while I'd like to do that, I don't think we have the money to spend at the moment. So perhaps we'll do that next time or the time after. Okay, so anything else to do in Vendabyte? No. Okay, we've got five and a half fuel. That's enough to get back. Eight rations. Terror has gone up slightly because I went uh, looking for a crab. Right. Let's see what happens, shall we? I'd actually just like to get a couple of combats over so I'm more comfortable with mechanic because at the moment the stress is killing me. <sighs> so I hope people have been um, catching the Minecraft episodes I've been putting up this week. There was two went up on Sunday. There's going to be another one coming up the same day as this and more the rest of the week and after I got through the live stream stuff and I apologize again for the quality of that after I get through the live stream stuff what I want to do is um, start using start using yeah start producing a, a weekly or twice weekly let's play of it just to go through the building stuff I've uh, I've been doing because I enjoy it I find it great fun. Something has happened. Something awaits you in port. Right, okay, let's go for these bats. Right, so those are... Okay, so the, the, the harpoon is heating up quite quickly and the gun is heating up slower but at this rate I'm going to hit them quite quickly. I'm glad you can pause that's a good thing. I'm glad you can pause. You can pause and think take a little sip of your coffee and decide what you're doing and I think we'll stop And that was a bad idea because it's not hitting up at the top. It's got to go all the way around, it would seem. Okay, so. Move out the way. All right, those are charging up still. Oh, we took a little bit of damage there. Let's move away from them. Those are charging up still. All right. Okay. interesting the one thing I would admit here is we do not oh no not dealing with both them as well oh we hit no it didn't really hit we sank oh we could so use a rear facing gun here
Right, let's line up with that. What do I got to do here? Oh, I've probably got to be out of combat mode. Right. Hmm. When asked what I thought I'd be doing today, I didn't really expect to be chased by bats. And we don't have a good enough turning circle. We're going to have to take some start, slow down, perhaps even stop, and take a bit of damage. Come on. Come on. Huh, interesting, they're pushing us into that. Come on. Has this crashed a bit? I think it might have. Right, what happens if I take this out? Turn this off. No, we can't exit combat while being chased. Come on. Don't know why these aren't charging anymore. Ah, okay, you've got to have something focused in order for them to charge. Okay, right. That was a bit of a mess. Okay, right. Hmm. First thing we learned is that you need to target something in order for things to charge up. The second thing we learned is that was weird. The third thing we learned is we still hate bats. But okay, right. Recording observations. We didn't do any observations. I don't know how to do observations now, actually. Gather up the corpses for the pot, or reduce terror. Let's reduce terror. Okay. And while we're at it... Let's get this um, prize as well. There we go. Okay, same deal really. Let's send her home with the crew. Right, that's going to give us a bit of money when we get to the end. Right. Let's get to port with what little fuel we have left, which is probably not going to be enough. But we'll see. Wow, that was mildly odd, wasn't it? I don't think I've ever been pushed around the ocean by uh, a flock of subterranean bats before. Needs a little bit of thinking. When I stopped, perhaps I should have gone to reverse. The crawling stars. Lookout shouts. Far above, the full stars in the cavern roof are shifting. A rare and ominous event. What now? Do we put eyes on deck? I don't like it, but it's safer. Or we can record the change and assign a name, which is a matter of luck. Do you feel lucky, punk? Looks like I was. The Z Bat. Bats is luck. A gap tooth stoker of hers. All agree. Leathery, but lucky. And tasty. We've lost five Terra, and we were fortunate. Yeah, hey. Not bad at all. Now, are we going to have enough fuel to get into port? It is going to be. We're going to be doing this on fumes, basically. Let's see how we go. And we are definitely buying ourselves an art facing weapon. I don't care what else. <laughs> but we are definitely buying ourselves an art facing weapon. Oh, that's taken a whole 20 minutes, would you believe it? Uh, 
Uh, we'll take a little bit of damage, and then all of a sudden it just stopped uh, attacking us and just started headbutting us, which was a little bit odd. Okay, collect messages from the Harbour Master. Someone wants to sign on, something's changed underneath. Well, we're getting a few things here, aren't we? Right. Shops. Torpedoes, forward, equips to deck. We want equips to aft. Equips to aft. Buy for 300 echo. Okay, equips to forward, equips to forward, equips to deck, equips to aft. For 600 echo. Right, we're going to need 300 echo in order to buy a rear facing weapon. Alright, so that's going to be a little bit difficult, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so let's hand in our port report. Anything new here? Turn in your shipment of red honey. That's a new one. Submit your port report. Vendor bites. There we go. There's an extra quick 10. Isle of Cats. That must be a new one. Okay, right, and into London. Uh, hold on. Right, my lodgings, here we go. That's what I want. Long awaited prize money. Extra 50 echo. Yay. Can't write a will, can't adorn, can't write a song with a Z, can't retire. Still can't sleep or read papers, and those have been gone since that really, really strange bug I ran into. Hmm, starting to get worried about that. I would like to have those back. Alright, back into London. Anything else we want to do? Crowds and wolf stack long? No, hire on more crew. A tomb colonists we want. And uh, let's see what the new recruits are. Um, Carnivian Exile. It's a first officer who increases mirrors and pages. This is a first officer who increases mirrors and veils. I think actually I would like to have all the the officers. I mean they cost you a bit up front, but we just earned 50 from the prize from that ship. So that doesn't worry me so much. Um, and also be able to like to be able to switch between them. So let's do that. Let's grab hold of the Carnelian Exile. Uh, okay. Anything else we want to do? Uh, fuel, of course. Fuel. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm now convinced that ten is not enough. Ten is was just enough to get us backwards and forwards beforehand without going around in circles. So I'm going to take a couple more. I want to build that up to fifteen twenty by default, and I think that's probably going to be the most we're going to be comfortable with with this little ship. New stuff, Sintelac. Devil Bone Dice, Mutt Assault, Zoop is still there, and yeah, I think the rest of it is, is there beforehand. So right, let's uh, spend the rest of our money on Mushroom Wine. Only got a couple there, but it's better than nothing. Forty-five. That's that's that's, that's around fifty earning. Mm. Yep, okay, right. Really have enough time for another round, but uh, do you guys object to a, an extra long episode? I didn't think you would. Let's give one more try. Chart, can we bring that up? 
no, it doesn't appear we can bring out the combat mechanic without uh, something being around, being around to combat, which I suppose makes sense. Anyone wants to give a name to the wretched mug? Put your suggestions in the comments, please. I say one thing, it's going to be a little while before I'm blase about this trip again. I'm actually quite stressed out. Yeah, I've invested a lot of time into this character and uh, I'd rather he didn't come to a sticky end just right now. This little ship floating across the sea there, flogging the yoggin. One other change that was reported is um, ship repairs. Um, ships repairs used to be um, you would spend so much for a certain amount of repairing, but now it's a flat rate. It, it just repairs your ship, which apparently um, is more economical if you have a damaged ship. And I've just noticed this arrow. Hide officers. Okay, that's not bad. We don't always need that, really, do we? Let's have that off. Laughter from the foredeck. How dare they laugh? How dare they? Mm. Come on, batties! Come on. Just the other day, I was being attacked by so many of them, I just felt like crying. Just bat after 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 bat. No, I'm right, honestly. And now look, nothing. They've seriously rebalanced this, really, haven't they? Perhaps they took pity on me. I don't know. I, I all in all, I think it's it's a good, a good addition. Um, the biggest disappointment of this game, to be totally honest with you, was was the combat. Recurring nightmare. Watched. The sea is as bright as milk. Four stars above are black on a pitchy bed. Something is watching you. Its gaze involves your boat. You are as transparent as glass. Right. An almost impossible challenge? Or an almost impossible challenge. This is what's going to kill us because we can't get restful night's sleep anymore. Let's go. Well, that was pretty terrible, wasn't it? The eye wants to learn you. Well, let it. You'll learn the eye in turn. So we're getting 24 terror. We now have a wound. Well. Wow. You'll heal when you rest in your lodgings. Well, hopefully that will get us the resting again. We've gained another eye, uh, another wound. Okay. Right, that was not, that was not good. That was not good in the slightest. <laughs> um, until this character can rest, that is what's going to kill us. I think if we cannot rest, I might seriously consider starting a new character, starting a game. Which would be a disappointment, but... It's not like we really have gone that far with this character. Right. Here we go, into Vendabite. 
gone a little bit over half an hour. This is probably going to be about a 40 minute episode. I apologise if that's too long for people. But uh, we're learning a lot. That's the important thing. Right, so it's dock. Okay. Toon Colony, let's run through this quickly. Gather gossip. Shops. Charlotte Lounge, sell them off. Uh, arcade of size, sell that stuff off. Okay, so that's made us a. Oh, that's a little bit of a profit, isn't it? Okay, so let's head back. Running low of food of all things. Well, that's something they've rebalanced. Let's have a quick look at the map. I think I'm going to go into Hunter's Keep and get a port report there. That'll give us a bit of extra money for not much extra fuel. And we can just go across the lights here and then come back down the lights here. That should be all right. Getting that extra terror has worried me. That does occur to me is what would be very good here is the ability to auto target. Why am I gaining Terra? Hmm. Very odd. Is being close to. Does not reduce terror anymore. Hmm, the mechanics all feel different. Not that I'm really complaining, but it's going to be another period of adjustment, I think. I suppose the good thing here is when we get into port, we will automatically have our terror reduced to 50, so we're going to lose a bit that way. Just check the map quickly. Where we think, yep, yeah, I know where we are. Food is going down slowly, I suppose, but still. Uh oh. Right, let's give it a try. Okay, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Not that I'm complaining. It was still easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's go and send that one back. We lost two crew. Okay, that's not so good. Let's get a port report. Dangerously low on crew now, which is a slight bother. We're gaining terror now because we're in the deep water. 
Well, let's get close to this light. That should hold it off for a while, and then we should be able to get close to the coast, which will hold it off as well. There we go. Horrors below. Zaylers at the rail call softly. Something swims beneath the sheep. Ship? Sheep? I saw it. I've been playing too much Minecraft. I saw it looking at us, one says, his voice a tremble. Do we call them away or do we try to catch it? A chancy challenge gives us a 60% chance. Let's give it a try. We gained one terror and we failed in the challenge. Okay. That could have been better, couldn't it? We could have really used that uh, 50 echoes. That's a shame. We're also going to have to find ourselves two new uh, crew, or at least two new crew. We are way under crewed, and if you notice, we can't go at full speed anymore. Right. Hunter's Keep. Right, let's reconnoiter the island. That gives us a port for port. Hmm. Let's eat with Cynthia. Cynthia grabs your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another car? Another chop? Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here. I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. So we gained one supplies. Um, we've lost 24 hunger. We've gained a terror. We've gained a tale of terror. Right, okay. Not receiving visitors. Let's get out of here. Let's quick look at the map, see where we're going. Right, we go out of here to this light here and south, and that should reduce the amount of terror we pick up. And it's back to uh, Port and London. Oh. Between this episode and the next episode, I think I'm going to do a bit of grinding off camera. Um, I'll do what I normally do. I will go back and forth between Vendabyte, make us a bit of money, and um, I will highlight the combats, and we'll, we'll do those at the start of the, uh, the next episode, and then with what time's left, we'll, we'll advance the story a little bit. But... In the meantime, here we are heading back to base. The waves are flecked with light. Twice, it would seem. Now, I'm wondering if um, turning a light off has an effect now. Uh, makes it harder for ships to see you. Probably increase the rate you uh, you gain terror as well. I should imagine. Right, so it terror sixty, hunger twenty. Not really a problem. Hmm. Just before we dock, your cheeks are wet. You think for a moment that it's Z spray, but then the sorrow hits you like a falling stalactite. You are weeping. You double over, inconsolable. We control ourselves or do we weep? Let's weep. We gained a fragment. Your crew watch in alarm as you collapse to the deck. Tears burst from your eyes. Your body is racked with sobs. It passes as suddenly as it started, but your thoughts are stained with dark stained dark with unlikely grief. Right, let's see if we can actually get into the dock without something else happening. And yes, we did. Okay. So our terror is used to 50, and we 
okay, fortunately we have not gained a knight there. Collect messages from the harbour master. That's all. Somebody wants to sign on. Excellent. Right, lodgings. No rest. Okay, the other thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a support request and see if I can work out why that is not appearing. Because it would be nice not to give this character up, but uh, that much terror is going to lead quickly to mutiny, and uh, mutiny will end this character, and that would be really quite depressing, I think. Um... Let's do the various little bits and pieces we normally do when we get into Port of London. Submit our port reports. Hunter's Keep, that gives us 5 Echo. Vendor Bite, that gives us 10 Echo. Shops. Actually, no, that's not what we want. We want to go into London. We want to pick up some tomb colonists. Oh, more crew for 30 echo. I don't want to spend 30 echo. New recruit. Engage the Zalo for 5 echo. Yep. We've lost one terror. We've lost 5 echo. We've gained one crew. Yeah, I think that was a good deal. Um, we're still running a bit low, but we, I think we can just about get away with that. So we go to the shops. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That actually doesn't leave us with enough to buy any mushroom wine. So I think what we'll do here is we will use that money just to stock up. Next run round, I will work heavily on, on rations and so on. I'll build that up and then we'll build some spare cash up as well. Let's have a look at our hold. Got some tomb colonists. When you have three wounds, you're dead. They heal when you rest in your lod lodgings and from time to time at Z. Yes, we're not doing very well here and we're not doing very well here because we can't rest, I think. Okay, I think we've gone on long enough. I'm going to leave it there. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been a remarkably different Sunless Sea. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you. And good night.